All right, we are up pretty high off the ground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Standing on the ledge of the chimney here like a couple of billy goats on the side of a mountain. But uh, you guys can see we're putting in our chimney flue. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're getting it nice and level, working everything out, building our chimney around it. And again, for all you professional bricklayers, block layers, chimney builders, trust us, we already know. <laughs> we already know. All right, we're going to get busy and get to uh, building the rest of this chimney. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Here we are, bird's eye view. I'm at the top of the chimney. I'm actually at the uh, ridge, cat, ridge pole here. And we've trimmed the uh, temporary or what's the temporary roofing back so that we can continue to build the frame around the terracotta here. And uh, Gabriel's going to get that ladder and come around and bring the other piece of terracotta up here to me so we can take the chainsaw down and set the terracotta atop this. never built a fireplace or a chimney before in our lives and this one is working perfect most of this stuff is really dry or well, somewhat dry anyway so uh, it's doing pretty good we were looking for a breaded rug and uh, Gabriel happened to stop by a thrift store yep. that's local to us and they had one under a pretty much under a couch that was stacked on top of another couch i saw this uh kind of peeking through and uh truth be told this is exactly what i was going out to uh try to find that day and uh sure enough saw just a corner sticking out underneath that couch i uh moved the couch on top of it off pulled this out ended up getting a steel uh, on this price. Perfect condition rug as far as no cuts, no tears. It uh, just needs a, a good cleaning. This fire is really going good now, guys. <laughs> this is awesome. See if I can back out a little bit and get a better look at that. Probably have to wait until the morning to see the rug a little better. Yep. A little more light. Natural light. Anyways. Alright, let's see what we have in here. And I took the heat off the top of mine because mine, I'm in a smaller pot than what Gabriel's using. So I've got a little char on top, but that just adds a little extra flavor. I'm going to make sure we're done on the bottom, so I'm going to move that off of here. Let's see what we look like on the bottom. Took the heat off the top, put more heat on the bottom. And we are shoo, golden. Look at look that. that. Hmm. Okay. Put that back in there. I'm gonna add a little uh, a little of the uh, topping on here. It's a little difficult to do one-handed, however. Usually what we'll do is we'll split this about in half. Oh, uh, well, a little more than half this time. Because you got five? 
Oh yeah, so I've got to give Gabriel a little uh, less than half. A little less than half. And I have to give myself a little less than half. I might end up giving him half of the uh, other roll anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hearth Baking 101. Back over the coals up here, not over the flame. And uh, you learn to bake this way, you can bake anywhere. Yep. All right, until we figure out exactly how we want to light this place up, we'll have to just use a little extra headlamp. <laughs> oh, look at that. Good stuff. See if we can flip them all over here. <laughs> they're just falling apart. <laughs> yeah, they're done. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's nice. Little uh, extra browning on the top. Uh, than what I was trying to get but uh, last couple of times I baked in this taller Stanley uh, I've had stuff that was done quicker on the bottom than it was on the top so what I'm trying to do add a little more heat on the top to uh, get a good nice even bake and uh, was a little overboard this time <laughs> but these are still some very good looking cinnamon rolls and uh, we'll pull one apart a little bit here Maybe. This is very hot. Alright, see good. those are done. And then the middle is done as well. Just destroyed the summer. <laughs> That's okay. Well guys, really no better dessert than a nice cinnamon roll. Bon appetit. <laughs> Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Already knew what to expect, but <laughs> always never, never ceases to fail. Never ceases to please. There we go. Correct. There you go. This is it's just the perfect, perfect dessert for a night like tonight. Temperature is really dropping outside. Yes. Big time. Temperature is really rising in here. This fire is just. Insane, but uh, yeah, it's a perfect dessert. I mean, <laughs> kind of a weird dynamic in here. Now, the place is not completely sealed up, so I mean, we don't have windows in place, we don't have a floor in place, so there's still gaps everywhere. So, over here by the fire. Really, in, anywhere inside the room, it's very warm. But when you get near the window or you get near the door, mm -hmm. it's a uh, different story over there. Yeah, <laughs> different story over there. So. Well, folks, we thank you for joining us this weekend. It's uh, you know, it's been a fun time. I hope you have a great day wherever you're at. As always, may the wings of liberty never lose a feather. And God bless. <laughs>